So iOS 26.1, this is going to be the next major update to come to the iPhone after the initial release for iOS 26. Now the first beta for this software already brings changes to Liquid Glass. If you want to see what's new within Liquid Glass with the latest iOS 26.1, I'll link my original coverage in the description down below. You can go watch that video. Today I want to talk about about a handful of features that we're still expecting Apple to announce and release with 26.1 and beyond that have been sort of leaked over the past several days i wanted to share those details with you guys now i also want to talk about when we can expect the future betas and official release of ios 26.1 keep in mind the first beta has been out for nearly two weeks now and of course the next beta should be around the corner so let's go ahead and dive right in so the first thing i want to talk about is the digital passport according to apple ios 26 will soon be featuring the digital passport so you'll be able to scan your passport into the wallet application of your iphone now initially on Apple's website, it did say that a new software update would be required to add this new capability to the wallet application that has now been removed. So it looks like Apple could be enabling the passport or digital passport capabilities server side, which means that they can go ahead and add this feature to this section here without you having to update your device. And I'll keep you guys posted once the digital passports become available. Keep in mind, Apple does mention that this is more for domestic travels here in the US. It is not for international travels or border crossing so just keep in mind that digital passports will soon be available most likely with a server side update and i'll keep you guys posted once that is officially added to ios now apple has also indirectly confirmed that they will be supporting rcs 3.0 with a future software update most likely happening with ios 26.1 or 26.2. Now, RCS was initially added to iOS with iOS 18. Uh, RCS 2.4, I believe, was initially supported. It's now currently 2.7. Now, the 3.0 version of RCS should bring end-to-end -end encryptions to conversations on iPhone when you text anyone that's not on iOS. This also includes inline replies as well as edit message, unsend messages, and full support for tap back. So yeah, RCS 3.0 will most likely be implemented here soon. It looks like Apple is still waiting for carriers to actually implement this new profile onto their network in order for Apple to enable the feature on iPhone. But yeah, RCS 3.0 is said to be coming with end-to-end -end encryption for the iPhone here shortly. Now, according to some of the latest reports it appears that apple may bring some of the new siri capabilities to the iphone here shortly with ios 26.1 and 26.2 according to some of the latest reports a significant update is coming to siri more control over some of your services applications directly within ios now we know that apple has been working on a new revamped version of siri set to be coming to the iphone sometime in 2026 however with this next software update 26.1 and 26.2 there's two things that could be happening number one it appears that apple intelligence may finally be coming to china according to this latest report and it looks like apple will be working with alibaba to power some of these new siri capabilities in that region and number two it looks like some services applications may finally get siri integration so that you can actually use siri to interact with your application so more interactions between and inside of applications so a nice bump to siri and siri capabilities could be coming with iOS. 26.1 and 26.2 here in the near future. Now, last but not least, I want to talk about weather via satellite. Now, we know that the satellite services on iPhone does provide a few options. We have a messaging via satellite. So if you don't have a network connection, you can message via satellite. You have the Find My capabilities. You have roadside assistant options. And of course, emergency SOS that you can communicate with emergency services in case you have an emergency and don't have a carrier connection. Now, according to code within iPhone, iOS 26 beta 1, it looks like Apple is working on a weather via satellite. And this looks to be a feature that Apple could be adding in the near future. Obviously, the feature is not here just yet. But weather via satellite could be added to these options here. And this, in my opinion, could be a crucial element and a nice update to the satellite capabilities of iPhone. So if you're ever stranded or anything like that and weather conditions appear to be getting worse, you can look at your weather even without the network connection, right? You can use the satellite to look at the weather and plan your next move, perhaps, and things like that. So, yeah, weather via satellite could be coming soon with iOS 26.1 or perhaps 26.2 in the near future. Now, keep in mind that the next beta could be available uh, in the next couple of days, honestly. So, right now, it is.
this Sunday, October the 5th. The next beta for iOS 26.1 will most likely become available sometime this week. So on the 6th or the 7th, I'll keep you guys posted. Obviously, as I mentioned, iOS 26.1 will bring major new features and changes to the iPhone and I'll continue covering the software. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for all the changes happening with future betas and future software releases. There you guys have it. These are going to be a handful of features that Apple is planning to add to the iPhone here shortly. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.